Welcome back. So in today's video, I am going to show you a Google Sheet and Web App Script based dashboard. So this is a quotation management system which will help in your businesses and it will enhance your performance in your businesses. Okay. So this is a quotation form where a someone customer comes to your business and they want a quotation so you can give the quotation. Let's take example. They want a gaming laptop so you can easily give them a quotation. Something like the invoices. So this is a complete solution for the businesses. I will explain you. So first of all, we need to enter the customer ID. So if the customer is already available in our database, we can search with the customer ID and the customer name as well. Okay, so if not available, you can easily add the customer ID here and fill out all the things manually, but it will not save. For saving the customer, you just need to go to the customer sections and click on this add new customer. I will add a new customer of my own self. My name is Ramiz and then my uh, our YouTube channel is MRI and then our street address is uh, Dubai and then city we will leave it and the phone number we will add it here this one okay so then again the email where we need the notifications of our course we can send the course directly to the email of the customer and we can select directly send the invoice to the customer customer so i will just enter the email id here okay so the email id here we will add it here and click on this add customer so when i click on this add customer so now you can see customer added successfully so now this is 128 id is uh, giving to our this particular customer giving to the ramiz we just go to the new code and uh, we will just 128 and you can see that ramiz come and all the information comes automatically and what thing i need one thing here i need a chipset cpu okay so cpu intel 13 generation i will need and what i need i need a uh, two pieces okay i need two pieces then i need a gpu so i gaming laptop graphic cards yes this is you can see 100 quantity is available at that moment okay so for the quotation this stock will not update but when we will create the invoices the stock will be updated so now you can see we have here the two as well so if the tax is applied on these items you can check mark them and you can also apply the tax rate as per your country needs here let's take example i will set it to the seven okay and if other any charges you can also add them here okay that's fine and now after all that you can simply make uh, save the course or print the code so I will just print so you can see the print is very clear on the A4 paper like professionally you can view them and also you can save the codes that yeah, means this say uh, this code will be exist in your system for 30 days after 30 days it will be expired so customer purchase this item within 30 days will apply this rate to them so after creating the codes we just go to the all code section so in the all codes you can see this is in the pending state means the customer is finalizing their decisions on that time i am going to show you the stock items here so this is a stock items what we have choosed this is the 60 and the second this is the 50 so these th these two things we are uh, choosing you can see this is 100 we are choosing this and this so when we I will choose this so whenever I will create the invoices I will create the invoice the system will update them the stock will be updated okay so you can see this is our this is our code and it's right now it's in the pending state we can also filter date and all statuses as well so this is a view and what is the view when you view the code form will be appear and if you want to edit the code you can also edit them you can see if you want to add any more item you can simply add the more item as well okay Okay, so after that you can easily able to you can apply the text and you can simply save changes as well so when you save the changes so the course will be the updated and you will go to the all codes again and here you will need to mark it complete means the customer finalize their decision and they want to purchase this particular code items what we give to them okay we just simply mark as completed and when we click on this mark as completed it means customer decision is finalized and we will need to create the invoice for that particular customer so you can see uh, this is a return mark as pending and it will redirect it to the completed to the pending state i will show you the demo so you can see when i mark this icon so the system status will be updated to the pending again so when i mark this completed so the system status changed from pending to completed okay so if you want to download the pdf you can simply pdf download and you can see the code here as well 
you can also make a print and give to your customer as well so if you want to send the right directly to their email you can simply click on this email icon and click on this send email so the customer can easily check out the quotation on your email within their own devices as well okay so if you will create the you can see this is the three items this is the graphic cards the gaming and uh, in the stock items we have already the graphic cards this is a 60 and the gaming as the 50 and the 100 so when we will create the stock will be the updated when we will create the invoices in all course we will now just create it the invoice we just simply click on this invoice and click on this yes create invoice so it means the invoice is going to be created out successfully okay now you will see in the stock items the stock will be the updated this is the 58 49 and the 98 so if you will delete the invoice the stock will also re stable into their original quantity it means two to ads what we will detect now in the stock it will be added again okay so here what the things we can easily download the PDF of our invoice we can send the invoice on the email and we can mark as paid here okay so if the customer is paid okay if the customer is paid we can simply mark the pay but what happened if the customer wants one more thing from us so we just simply click on this view and uh, click on this edit code and then again add new item and then we can easily enter gaming mouse and click on this save changes so when we click on the save changes code updated successfully and i will go to the all codes again and click on this invoice and click on this yes create invoice so when i click on this yes create invoice it will says invoice already exist invoice number one uh, invoice number this so what we need to do we just go to our invoices and delete this particular invoice from here and we need to create it again okay so the invoice will be created here uh, deleted from here successfully and uh, you can see the invoice is deleted successfully here and we just go to our all code section and in the all codes we will create the invoice again and click on this yes create invoice so when we, when we will create a new invoice so you can easily able to see here invoice is created out successfully and uh, in the invoices section we have now the pdf download option for generating pdf let me see is it really updated or not so you can see this is updated and you can see the invoice something professionally like that okay so you can also mark them as paid it means the invoices is paid so the status is also updated from our paid invoices and this is the unpaid invoices so in the customer management you can also i already told to you you can I see add customers so you can see one more thing this is a total course mean this particular customers have the total quotations from our business is zero right now and this one has one so this customer have one invoices means they have purchased and uh, this is the zero so you can also overview them here directly in the stock items you can also uh, check out them and uh, you can also edit delete and add new stock item in the user management you can manage the users as well so you can see this is a user and it's already blocked and when i just log out and log in as a user so it will says the access is blocked for this particular user to make this enable you just go to the login and make it allow so all the features are same to the user or admin because this is a one business so employees can do all the things expect the user management they cannot control the user management